In this series of videos, we're going to be learning about Boolean algebra. Now, Boolean algebra is doing math with zeros and ones. There actually are a variety of Boolean algebras, but the one that we're going to work with stays exclusively with zeros and ones. Each input is a zero or a one, and each output is a zero or a one. There's some operations that we'll be able to do in Boolean algebra. One of them is multiplication. And zero times zero is zero, zero times one is zero, and one times one is one. This is very reminiscent of the conjunction operator we used when we were doing logical operations. And uh, just swap the zero for the false and the one for a true, and you come up with the same results as that and operator. There's Boolean addition. You add zero to zero, you get zero. Zero plus one is one, and one plus one is one. Ah, that's something to remember. I've got an asterisk by it because usually when we add one plus one, we get two, but not in Boolean algebra. In <clears throat> Boolean addition, it's more like an or operation, one or one, and we end up with one as the result. This is much like the disjunction operation, and again, zeros for falses and ones for trues, and you get the OR operation. Then there's the Boolean complement, and this changes the value. So a uh, complement of zero is one, the complement of one is zero. Now, this bar over a number or a variable can be really tricky when you're using a keyboard. Um, in fact, some, op some applications you can do it, it's just hard. Other ones you actually can't do it. So an alternative is to use a single quote to represent the complement. And so you can use that when you're typing it or working with another app that it's difficult to use. It's much like the not operation and uh, Right? Again, zeros for false, one for trues, and it works like that not operation. There are the same order of operations, parentheses take parenthesis and take precedence, and we use those to change the order of operations or to add clarity. Then comes the complement, and so that's applied next. After that is multiplication and followed by addition. And as always, parentheses are preferred when they add clarity. When doing order of operations, it's really important to make sure everything under the complement bar is done before applying the complement. So um, here on the left, the, on the left and on the right, these are the exact same uh, expression, except that the one on the right has the parentheses to add clarification. But in both cases, the order of operations would be the same because what's under that complement bar is done first. And with the parentheses, that's having you do that first. It just makes it more visible that that's what you're doing. Uh, and <clears throat> so uh, if you're using the single quote, uh, make sure you use parentheses when you have more than one uh, value that, that's part of the, uh, that's part of the complement, right? So you'd have the parentheses are required in that case. So let's see how this plays out. So the very first you do what's under the complement which is zero plus one, and the result of that is one. So once you compute that, then you can take the complement, and the complement of one is zero, and you multiply zero times one, and you get zero.